Hi guys, my name is Umair and you are watching Umair's workshop. Today we are going to make a wiring and connection of this STC100A. So this is a temperature, digital temperature controller or thermostat. So it is wiring is easy according to the diagram. We have to connect this uh, sensor over here like this one on the 4 and 6 which I have connected and then we have to give 220 power over 6 and 7 from here it is showing the neutral wire should be going directly in here in the 2 and the load which we have to connect like a heater have to be connected on the 7 as well so this relay will turn on when it needed but when it is not needed it will be in the closed position and we can turn on anything like a fan or something but before we have to do the simple wiring we need a two pin plug with wire and we have to connect it according to the diagram the six and seven will be the power on over here and then we have to connect the jumper wire from 6 to 2 so we have to connect it like this take a jumper wire and connect it with the any of the wire one of the wire connect with any of the wire like this and place it into the 6 The jumper wire will be connected into the two. Now we have to connect this uh, heater wire to one of the two wires. I have to connect one wire in the one as it is load and the main load wire and the second wire of the heater will be connected into the 7 together It is connected according to the diagram as the 6 should be connected to the 2 by this jumper wire and one wire of the heater should be placed in the 1 and in the 7. So that's how we can do the wiring. Now let's check if it is working. is showing the temperature we want to set so if we keep pressing it it is going it's not going over 40 anymore but if we go to the back side we are able to go so it was showing the minus i think now it is going into the temperature setting like 38 it is turned on as well so if we want to go into the internal setting we have to see this if we go into the setting it is H and C which is cooling and heating D is for the difference like if I want it to open at 38 and turn off at uh, 37 uh, it should be working in a 1 degree difference so it is LS after that we have to minimum temperature value and high temperature value and CA calibration if I want uh, it to 
if i am not satisfied with this reading i can calibrate it with the most advanced or more accurate temperature uh, controller then i can do the variation control output protection time i think it is for if it is so something like you get a load shading it turns off when it turn on back it will take like 1 minute to 1 to 7 minute uh, waiting time then it will turn on so it is for the protection of the any uh, heavy machinery is like that and this is a uh, sp temperature setting value but it's written it will not be appear in the menu because it is already uh, showing on this on the front lcd so if i want to set it i have to press this set button and it is uh, not showing any blinking or something like that it will just go into the set mode so if i want to set it for the incubator it will be 38 and then i will let it go and it will go back into the live setting so it is showing live temperature right now but what if i have to go into the internal setting i have to keep press the set button it is showing h and c it is on the c if i press one button uh, if i want it to go from cooling to heating i have to go back and keep press again one time and do uh, the upper arrow button and it will be on the heating mode so the heater will turn on until it reaches 38 and if i want to set the difference like after how many degrees it should be turned on we have to go back difference it is 5 we have to reduce it to the 1 and back again it is lower setting uh, minimum value we have to do the quick thing or otherwise it will go back so it is lower setting is 1 and higher setting is 70 we have to reduce it to the 40 so it shouldn't go over that after that we had a calibration like if i wanted to adjust it according to my preferred setting i have to uh, increase or decrease according to my desired setting like this and it will show over to the live temperature so it will show decreased value or increased value if i have set in the calibration after that we have calibration and pt is for control output timing pt is for the timing setting if it if i place it on the one it will wait one minute and then it will turn on anything which i have placed in the setting so if i place it one minute it will wait one minute then it will turn on that thing so i'm going to place it on the zero this is the basic internal setting of this stc 100a so now we have to check if it is working properly when it reaches 39 it have turned off so there is no any kind of micro seconds or micro difference we can place it will be turned off at uh, 39 and turn on at 37 so that's how it's going to work because it is uh, not for the incubator it is for the industrial uh, controller so that's how it works in the industrial zones so there is no need that much for the micro differences so when it reaches back to 37 it will turn on it have turned on at 37 or 37 38 uh, 
I cannot tell because it is showing very delay something like that so it have turned on at 38 we have made the difference on one degree difference so it should be uh, in the zone of 37 and 38 our wiring and internal setting is finished but extra thing we can do like if I want it to do another working like at one time at one thing so if I want it to when the heater is switched off it should power something else if it is not giving power to this it should be giving power to something else like a fan or something so for that wiring it is also it is not giving in the diagram but here is the thing we have to uh, use any kind of fan like 220 like this and place it into the 7 as the load one and the second wiring will be go into the 3 like this one the relay is in a resting position from 2 to 3 it will keep in that position all the time but when it turns on it will turn on this and switch off the fan when it is off the fan will be turned on back it is normal for the relay to work like that and this controller have given a uh, given us the option if you want to turn on anything as well for the fan wiring we have to place one wire into the three and the second wire of the fan will be connected into the seven same with the heater because it is work as a neutral when the heater turns on the fan will stop when the fan starts working the heater will be turned if i turn it on again the fan is uh, cooling throwing out the heat and the heater is turned off when the temperature goes back into the our setting that fan will be turned off and the heater will turn on so these both things only working for the heating purpose if we reverse that for the cooling it will work for only for the cooling and so it works and if we set it for the heating it will only work for the heating that's how we can do the wiring of a stc 100 a so if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Have a nice day. Bye.